Have you ever had the refresh symbol appear over the thumbnail in your styles window? Or uh, maybe you've gone to create a scene and had a pop-up appear like this where it asks you if you want to save the changes to your style, if you want to ignore the changes, if you want to save a new style. If you don't know what that means, um, that's what this video is going to be all about. Hey, I'm Matt from MasterSketchup.com. If there's one thing you take away from this video, I want you to understand that when you click on a style, it creates a copy of that style and attaches it to your model. So right now, I'm in the Styles window. You can find that under the Window menu, Styles. And you have this drop-down menu that shows you from here all the way down here. So these are the styles that are included with SketchUp and then anything below that are custom collections that you might have on your computer that you might have downloaded and and whatnot. So when you navigate to any one of these folders these are actually representing styles that you have saved on your computer and when you click on one of these styles what is actually happening is it's SketchUp is taking a copy of this style and saving it in your model. So if you save this model and uh, send it to someone else, that style, the copy of this style is actually saved within it. And you can see all of the styles that are in your model by going to the drop down menu and clicking in model. You can also just click this, um, this icon right here. This is a shortcut so you can see all the styles that are in your model. So you can see the first uh, the first style here, this is the style that opened up when I opened the new file. So whenever you um, open a new file from a template, the template will typically, you know, it'll have a style attached to it. Um, and any other style that you click on, so if I go to assorted styles and, you know, I'm just clicking through to check out all these different styles, every time I click on it, it's saving it to the in-model um, the in model folder so it's creating a copy now you can delete styles that you're not using by going to the details button and clicking purge unused and what that'll do is it'll search if you have any scenes in your SketchUp model it'll keep any styles that are assigned to scenes and then it'll keep the style that you're currently viewing so in this case I'm left with one style so one thing that causes a lot of confusion is if you edit a style and I'm going to just change the face style. If you edit a style property, you're going to see this icon here. And what this is telling you, this, this update icon, and it appears over the thumbnail. What this tells you is you've made a change to this style definition. So remember, that's the style that's that the copy of the style that's in your model, you've made a change to one or more of the properties. And that's totally fine. The problem is when you don't understand uh, that you've made a change. Because you this is not the only place that you can change style properties. You, th from the edit menu in the styles window, this is not the only place where you can change style properties. So for instance, if you click any one of these um, buttons here. So if you go to x-ray mode, that changes the style property. If you go to back edges, if you go to wireframe, any of these buttons here are affecting the style. Um, in the view menu, you also have, if you turn on hidden geometry, you've affected the style. If you hide or unhide section planes or section cuts, if you do anything here with the edge style or face style, you're affecting the defined style. So again, this is totally fine. The only real time where that becomes a problem is when you're saving scenes. So let's say I wanna add a scene and tell me if you've ever seen this pop up. So I just went to add a scene and I have this warning window that pops up and it says you're creating or updating a scene and you've, you haven't saved the changes that you've made to your style. So you just need to be aware that you know, if you're clicking any of these buttons or doing anything in the view menu that I showed you and you're changing something, changing any of the style properties, uh, you need to 
tell SketchUp what you want to do with those changes. Because when you save a scene that has style and fog uh, saved with the scene, the scene can only remember uh, defined styles that are in the in model folder. So you have a few different options here. You could save a new style. So what it'll do is it'll keep this, uh, this style as it was before you made the changes and it'll give you a new, it'll save it as a new style. Or you can update the selected style. So it will update all the changes. So now any other scene that you happen to have this style applied to will also uh, change because you're you're updating this style definition or you can do nothing with the save uh, do nothing to save the changes so what that does is it'll ignore any of the the alterations you've made to the style maybe you just needed to see x-ray for you know a temporary reason just to check something and you know that in reality you don't want to save the x-ray with the scene you want to save whatever properties uh, this style has so you have those few different options and again the the important thing to realize is if you have any other scenes that are using the style you want to make sure uh, that you understand if you do update that style the other scenes are going to be changed as well so I'm gonna go ahead and save this as a new style and if I go back to the in model folder you can see we now have two uh, two styles and this one has x-ray and this one does not. Actually, there's a few differences. This one has a different face style as well. So another misunderstanding that people have about styles, and again, this just goes back to understanding that you're creating a copy of the style when you when you select it. So, um, you know, some people think that they can select a style and make changes to it. So let's say you want this to be x-ray and you click update. So this is the update style with changes. So when you click update, it's not actually updating this style because this is the one that's saved on your computer. What it's doing is it's, sa it's updating the style that you have in model. So if you want to actually change your default styles and update your default styles, um, you need to save it to your computer and there's a few different ways to do that I'm not going to get into that in this video I'll link to in the description below I'll link to an article that will uh, explain more on how to save styles for future use either in a template or create your own collection which is really just a folder and uh, you add the folder to your favorites add collection to favorites um, you can also click this drop down uh, menu it's an alternate selection menu and drag and drop um, styles from from one to the other uh, the only thing I noticed is that you might have some permissions um, folder permissions problems where you need to be an administrator like I just tried to drag this down here and it wouldn't let me that's because of the way Windows is set up um, you need to change some folder permissions in order for that to work like I said I'll have a link in the description below to learn more about that and hopefully this video cleared up some, um, you know, some fundamental characteristics for you on how styles work. And if you have any questions, leave a comment below and subscribe to my channel. I do videos on SketchUp and layout to teach you how to use the programs. Thanks for watching.